everyone, I'm Needlecraft Danny, and this is a floss tube extra. Basically, a parade for my arbitrary August plants. Um, yeah, as I said, it's going to be a parade. I'm going to show you all of my whips, um, even those that are not exactly part of um, my arbitrary August plants. But when I show you 16 of my whips, I can show you the last two as well. Um, but first of all, I thought I would talk a little bit about Arbitrary August um, and how it how it started and um, how I did my Arbitrary August so far. So Arbitrary August um, was basically like founded by um, Sarah Stitch and Mummy here in Frostube. Go check her out. Um, she's amazing um, and she has a ton, ton of videos. So <laughs> yeah, check her out. Um, I think she started Arbitrary August back in 2018 or something like that. So back when I was not stitching um, yet. And uh, But I watched her videos and I saw that and I really liked the idea. So I started stitching um, in March 2019. Um, so my first Arbitrary August was only half a year later, not even. Um, and that was kind of the reason I decided to do an, an arbitrary August not completely focused on only my whips. Instead, I um, made myself a st schedule. I would stitch one day on one of my whips, which I would choose randomly, so therefore the arbitrary August. And then I would have two days um, for a new start. Um, that I would also choose randomly. I think I had about 30 projects kitted up and in the end I st started around 10 or something like that. So yeah, two days on that new start before I would go back to one of my whips. Um, and that was basically my first arbitrary August. I really enjoyed it. I really liked it. I have a lot of projects now started in August 2019 because somehow a lot of my full coverage pieces um, were called for for those starts and um, those are not finished uh, very fast so I have most of them still around <laughs> um, and I come to that later for my arbitrary August this year so that was 2019 2020 was my year of full coverage and I had very high stitch count goals every day for my full coverage pieces. So basically I divided my whips into two piles, the full coverage ones and the non-full coverage ones. And I would stitch six days on a full coverage piece, a random chosen one. And then I would have one day where I would stitch on a random chosen non-full coverage piece. And I think if I remember correctly, I then had five non-full coverage days and three of those were the same project, <laughs> which was a little bit annoying, <laughs> but somehow kind of nice because I really wanted to get a lot of progress on that piece that got chosen three times. So it was kind of okay. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's, that's basically the two arbitrary Augusts I did so far. Um, I always do a vlog style video while um, doing my arbitrary August and that's what I'm going to do this year as well. So I'm going to upload on Monday and show you the progress on my travel stitchings on, on this Monday. Um, and otherwise I'm going to, every day before I start stitching, I will do a little short clip of, um, and show you the project I stitched on the day before, what I got done maybe talk a little bit about that and then I will um, pull a thread out of my bowl um, so I will know what project to stitch on that day and um, then I'll just show you the project, talk a little bit about it and then I'll put out the video and start stitching. Um, I will only upload on Mondays 
So I will take all those small clips together in one bigger video and not upload every day, but upload um, at the end of the week or the beginning of next week. Um, and yeah, that's going to be my videos. So that's done. This video, today is the 1st of August. Um, I already did my update video. Um, that's going to be uploaded today. And this video, I'm not sure if I'm going to upload today or if it will take until tomorrow, that depends on how long it actually does take me to upload the update video, because last time it took way longer than I was used to. Maybe the internet connection here in the new house isn't as good as it was in the last one, I don't know. It should actually be the same, but yeah, I don't know if that was just last week's problem, so we'll see about that. Um, it gets uploaded today on Sunday or tomorrow on Monday, and then the Monday afterwards um, will be my next update video. Okay, now to my plans for this arbitrary August. Basically, super easy. I have, at the moment I have 18 projects. Two of them, I have already finished my year and goal, so those are out. All other 16 projects, um, I wrote their name on one of those um, pieces of paper, so just, just like that. Um, and they're all in here, in this bowl. And every day I'm just going to take one of those pieces of paper and that's the project I'm going to stitch on. Out of those 16, I have then basically left. Whenever I finish a year and goal on the projects that are in here, which can happen because with some of them I'm kind of close to finishing my year goal. I will put the, the paper out and will not stitch on it anymore during arbitrary August. There are six projects that I started during my first arbitrary August, so they have their birthday this August and they turn two years old. So those six days I already know which projects I'm going to stitch on. For example, tomorrow on the 2nd of August, Mini Magic Mirror has its birthday. So tomorrow I'm not going to pull a, a piece of paper out of my bowl. I'm going to stitch on Mini Magic Mirror. That's it. And yeah, as you can see, six different ones. Um, I think Mini Katie and Cruncher, which has its birthday on the 18th. If that one gets pulled a few times um, before that point, I might actually be able to finish my goal on that one. And um, then I will only stitch for about half an hour on it on its birthday before then I then move to something else. Okay, I think, I think that's everything I wanted to tell you about that. Really have to think about it. Maybe I forgot something, but I think that's it. If you have any questions, just pop them below. I will answer them. Um, but I think I think that's it. So that's going to be my bowl. Um, it's going to stay he around here because I'm now going to show you all my whips to the whip parade. And when I'm done with that, we will pull one of those papers out um, and see what I'm going to stitch on today. Because so far, I do not know that yet, and I will have to find out at some point. Okay. Um, yeah, I think I think that's it. Okay. I have all my whips lying around me. Um, I'm going to tell you right away. They're, so far, they're in those rolls. So I'm going to roll them up after I showed you, um, because otherwise I do not have the space here to actually do this video. Um, so you might see a little bit of that. Um, how is it going to work with this book array? I'm going to show you what this project is going to look like when it's done. Um, I'm going to show you, or I'm going to tell you what my year goal is. I'm going to show you a picture of what the project looked like on the 1st of January. And then I'm going to show you the project, what it's, going, what it's looking like right now how much they're still missing to finish my year and goal, and so on. Um, so, yeah, that's it. So I kind of have also a mid-year review over my goals, 
um, on how many projects I'm kind of close to finishing, how many projects I'm still super far away. Some of them I'm not completely sure, especially my full coverage pieces, how many stitches exactly they are missing, but I know kind of. So I'm just going to tell you that. And yeah, I think that's that. Um, yeah, and I have those projects around me, divided them in five categories. Basically, the categories of my weekly rotation. So first, I'm going to show you all my full coverage pieces. Thereafter are my full coverage fancy ladies. Then I have my non-full coverage pieces and my non-full coverage fancy ladies. As this is the year of fancy ladies, I thought I should um, point them out a little bit more than just in between all those others. In every group, I will start with the oldest and end with the newest. Um, but the groups aren't super big, so that's that. And in the end, um, group number five um, are the projects that I have already finished my year-end goal on, so they are not in my arbitrary August pile. Okay, now I think I told you everything and we can actually start with the project. So, first of all, full coverage pieces. And the oldest of my full coverage pieces is Color by the Mountains by Golden Kite. So that's what's going, what it's going to look like when it's done. And I show you the picture of what it looked like beginning of this year here. So this is where this one is at right now. My year goal on this one are 4,563 stitches. Um, and I think I have about a thousand missing. So, so far I finished this page in here and have started on this page down here this year. Um, this one is stitched, sorry, this one is stitched on 25 count, 2 over 1 10 stitch. Needle liner is from Benka Designs. And I bring it a little bit closer. It's really beautiful. I'm now at about 40 to 45% done. I'm still stitching this one from a paper chart, so I don't know exactly, but yeah, that's that one. So, hello, your mountains. Um, about a thousand stitches left, so maybe one or two stitching days during arbitrary August could get me a goal finish. That would be really nice. So we'll see about that. As I said, I have to roll it up. Otherwise, I'm going crazy over here, and nobody wants that. Okay, then, next one is also a golden kite. This one is called Norwegian Ship and the Sail. It's the small edition. That's what it's going to look like when this one's done. And again, i show you a picture of what it looked like beginning of the year. So this is where this one's at right now. Now, it's stitched on 18 count Ada 2 over 1 full process, medium hander again from Danka Designs. And so far this year, I think I did stitch two columns and start of the third, something like that. There are, I think, a bit more than 2,000 stitches missing for my year end goal. So quite a lot to do. Did not stitch a whole lot on this one this year. Um, it's a lot of confetti. On a paper chart, so it's kind of complicated to actually stitch on this one, but I do love it. I do love the finished piece, so I have to get back to this one. And I need another 2000 stitches, so we'll see about that. Yeah, again, I bring it a little bit closer, especially the page with the sails because oh my god, they are amazing! I really love them. So, yeah, here we go. That's that one. And once again, rolling it up to not go crazy over here. Um, it is a bit more complicated in here. Um, back when I was filming at my old apartment, I actually was filming in the living room and therefore had a little bit more space around me because I was sitting on the floor. Um, I'm now really happy I do not have to sit on the floor anymore because it wasn't the most comfortable thing. Um, 
but I do have a little bit less space around me to actually put my products, put my patterns and stuff, so yeah, still I'm figuring it out. <laughs> next one, and actually, no, next one is uh, Four Seasons, Alfredo Spayasek Yaka, Charity for Heaven and Love Designs. That's what it's going to look like when it's done. So I'll show you a picture of what it looked like last year here. Let's see how that works. This is where I'm at right now. So what did I do since the uh, beginning of the year? I finished that part over here and then started with my next row of um, 20 stitches because this one I stitched in 20 by 20 blocks, um, finished over the whole width of the pattern and then moved down into the next row. Um, it's stitched on 25 count, one over one, four crosses, needle miners from Denka Designs. And yeah, here it is. And it just got really dark outside. Um, so we'll see how the lighting does. But yeah, that's, I do not see a whole lot. So that's that. And over here. So, yeah. Really happy with this one. It's kind of complicated, or one of my most complicated pieces to actually show in a video because there are so many threads. Um, but yeah, I really do love the outcome of the piece and how it looks. Um, it's stunning. And I really enjoy stitching on this one. Oh, and for this one, my year and goal are 4,563 stitches. Like all those others I have shown you already, I think Norwegian Ship and the Sailor did not actually say it, but also 4,563 stitches. And on this one, for seasons, I think I have also about 2,000 missing to my, finish my year goal, as I have on Norwegian Ship and the Sailor. So both, quite a bit left to do. Both are full coverage, uh, sorry, full crosses. So they tend to take a little bit longer. Um, but yeah, I enjoy both very much. Oh, and Four Seasons. So many things I forgot. Four Seasons actually has its birthday on the 9th of August. So I will um, for sure stitch on this one on the 9th of August. Um, okay, now the last one for my full coverage pieces is Super Size Max Color Once Upon a Fairy Tale. The artwork is by Amy Stewart, Charity for Heaven and Love Designs. That's the whole picture when it will be done in about 50 years. <laughs> um, I, yeah, I show you a picture of what it looked like at the beginning of the year. I just thought I had started it this year for my new year new start, but it was 2020. So I can actually show you a picture of what it looked like beginning of this year. Okay, so I, let out, let a little bit more light come in from this window over here because it gets super dark. I think we're about to have a big thunderstorm or maybe just a big rain. Not sure, but it just got super dark. So we'll see how it works with the colors. This is where Super Size Max Color Once Upon a Fairy Tale is at right now. This is stitched on a 40 count uh, Newcastle Linen 1 over 110 stitch. Needleminder is from Lakeside Needlecraft. Um, also on this one, my goal are 4,563 stitches and um, I'm still missing about 700, so I'm really close. I'm actually in um, down here in this diagonal over there and I will not even have to finish this, di um, this diagonal of 10 by 10 blocks before I will have my year and goal finished. So this one's super close, um, maybe only one day of stitching maybe two, and this one will be actually done. So that's nice. Or my year goal will be done. It's still quite a bit to go till it's completely done. But yeah, here we are. It's so beautiful. I love the details. I'm so happy I chose the Super Size Max Color one um, because it looks, it looks amazing. And I can't wait to stitch on this one. I think I got to that point back in April or something. And since then, I'm waiting to actually pull it out again to continue stitching on it. Um, I was supposed to stitch on it as my daily piece, um, I think two weeks ago, but that was the week where I did not get anything done because of my move. And therefore, <laughs> I did not stitch on it. So that's really sad. 
Okay. And that's been all my full coverage pieces. So now we're moving to full coverage fancy ladies. And the first one of those is going to be, or is, Mini Magic Mirror. The artwork is by Anne Stokes, charted by Havana Love Designs. That's what it's going to look like when it's done. I show you a picture of what it looked like at the beginning of the year. And this is where I'm at right now. Super happy with her. She is stitched on a 28 count Lugana and stitching to a 110 stitch. Needlemander is from Just So Heavenly. Um, and I'm stitching this one from right to left. Um, I have this year, I think, finished page number three. And I'm now stitching on page number two. Um, for her, I want to do 9,126 stitches this year. And I think I'm missing only about 2,000. Um, so I'm kind of close to finishing my year and goal on her. Um, page number three, I'm stitching basically all the color first. Going through the columns, um, the color highest up that I have not yet stitched on, um, I will stitch one length of thread before I move on to the next color, following the column from left to right, top to bottom. Except for black, I will leave all the black open until I've finished all the color on the page and then just fill in all the black stitches. I think I hear some, uh, some thunder. So we will see how long I can actually continue with this video before the sun, thunderstorm starts and uh, it will not work anymore. So, Mini Magic Mirror will be stitched on um, the 2nd of August. So tomorrow I'm going to stitch on her um, because she will have her birthday then. Yeah, that's her. Can wait to get back on to her and maybe um, in August finish the goal. But 2000 stitches are a lot of stitches. I mean, she's kind of fast, um, but 2,000 stitches, a oh. lot. Okay, next is, and it's already raining. Next is Dragon Dancer, also a work by Anne Stokes. Child if I have enough designs, that's what she's going to look like when she's done. So I show a picture of what she looked like beginning of the year. And this is where I'm at right now. So you now can actually see the colors a little bit better in, as in my update video, because it's really dark already. Um, it has started to rain. I hope you cannot hear it yet over the video. If it's getting too loud, I will stop the video and continue sometime later. Dragon Dancer is stitched on 32 count, 2 over 1, 10 stitch. I think I have finished this page so far this year and I'm now stitching on this page down here. Um, I want to do 9,126 stitches this year and I think I have about three or three and a half thousand missing. So quite a bit to go on this one, which is fine because I really want to finish that page and then move into that one down here. And this page takes way longer than I thought it would, but yeah. Also, Dragon Dancer has its birthday on the 5th of August, so next week I will definitely stitch on this one. And I'm looking forward to it. So, that's my Dragon Dancer. Funnily enough, um, all my full coverage fancy ladies have their birthday during August, so that's kind of nice and kind of fun. And I just destroyed the hairpiece I put around Dragon Dancer to hold it together, so... and lost my needle, I think. Wow, this one's turning out great. Okay, I will search for the needle later and continue with the rest of my video. <laughs> um, next is... Sorry, Keep the Frog Prince. The artwork is by Melanie Dillon and uh, Charlotte by Heaven and Love Designs. That's what it's going to look like when it's done. And I show a piece of what it looked like beginning of the year here. So this is Starry Keep the Frog Prince. This one is stitched on a 32 count a light blue linen. I'm stitching two over 110 stitch needle minder from Nanka Designs. My year goal on her are 9,126 stitches. So far I have finished about 4,600. So basically half of it and 4,500 are still missing. 
So quite a bit to go on this one. Um, she will be stitched on for sure on the 11th of August because that's going to be her, uh, her birthday. Did you just see the lighting? Lightning? There's the, there's the thunder. Okay, <laughs> we'll see how loud it's going to get. Um, and if I have to stop this video, I hope not. <laughs> I kind of want to get this one done. So, as I said, this one is Sturdy Keep the Frog Pins. About 4,500 stitches still missing, which only translates to about two and a half diagonals of 10 by 10 blocks. So, not a whole lot, um, but better than nothing. Um, okay, as I said, birthday on the 11th of August, so she will be stitched on for sure sometime during August, but as I have only 16 projects, um, I should get to all of them. I mean, I cannot say for sure, of course, but I should. Okay, next. Maybe I have to speak a little bit louder to get over the rain. Um, next is Mini Magic Mirror. The artwork is by Hannah Lynn and charged by having enough designs. That's what she's going to look like when she's done. And I'll show you a picture of what she looked like beginning of the year here. So this is Mini Canyon Cruncher and she's kind of washed out. The colors are not perfect right now. Um, she stitched on a 25 count uh, even weave, one o no, sorry, two over one, 10 stitches. Needleminder is from Denka Designs. On her, my year and goal are a small 9,126 stitches. I'm missing about 2,000, which are about one and a half um, of those columns, moving along into the diagonal. Um, so yeah, that's her. I'm super happy that I have finally finished one of her eyes. Uh, it looks amazing, and I can't wait to get back to her. It's been a while since I stitched on her. She has her birthday on the 18th of August. So that's when I'm sure going to stitch on her. Um, and if it's a good stitching day, I normally can get about one column done. That would be nice because that means then only one more day and I will have finished my year and goal. So I'm looking forward to it and hoping I can actually finish my year and goal on her. Um, I would love to finish as many goals as possible already during August. Um, because I still kind of think I can finish all of my year-end goals this year and then have advanced year-end goals for the rest of the year. So that would be nice because then I can get back to some of the projects I have already finished my year-end goal on. Um, I think the first one I finished in May or June or something. It has to be May, maybe April. So super early and I want to get back to all of my projects. Um, and therefore it would be kind of nice. <laughs> so we'll see about that. Um, okay, my next and last full coverage fancy lady is Mini Cinderella. The artwork is by Alexandra Dog, charted by Heaven Enough Designs. That was, that's what she's going to look like when she's done. And I show you a picture of what she looked like beginning of the year. So this is where she's at right now. She stitched on a 25 count, no, sorry, 28 count light blue even weave, and I'm stitching one over one full crosses. Needle miner from Danka Designs. With her as well, goal are 9,126 stitches this year, and so far I have finished around 4,000. So I'm still missing about 5,100. Um, stitches till the end of the year, so a lot still to do on her. Um, so yeah, I have to get going on her. She has her birthday on the 20th of August, so we'll see um, if I get to her before that or just on her birthday. Um, yeah, we will see about that. That's Mini Cinderella. Yeah, really can't wait to get back to her because I had a challenge, a challenge in the Full Coverage Fanatics group during um, June and July that I did not completely finish. Therefore, there's still a perk thread in here and I would like to continue stitching with that one and actually put that thread in um, and then move on. So we'll see about that. 
Okay, now we're already moving to my non-full coverage pieces. Um, and yeah, we're going to start with my normal non-full coverage pieces. And the first one is my ever oldest whip. Um, so this is my oldest whip. It's called Tiger Chilling Out by Dimensions. That's what it's going to look like when it's done. I show you a picture of what it looked like beginning of the year here. And this is where I'm at right now. He stitched on 18 count uh, black ada. The tiger itself is stitched two over one four crosses. The reflections and the water are stitched with one, two, or three strands, half stitches. Um, yeah, I basically started somewhere over here and I'm now doing all of that. There's not a whole lot missing over here because with him I want to finish the top half of the design. So basically I just have to finish its face and then um, do all the back, back stitching and um, the couching because his whiskers are going to be couched. Never done that. So yeah, we will see about that. Um, the needle miner is from Denka Designs and yeah, kind of with this one, it's kind of complicated because I love this piece. I love stitching on him as soon as I started stitching. But to actually get started always takes some time because of the black ada. I do not do not like it very much. It looks amazing when it's done, but I just do not like it very much while, while stitching on it. Um, so yeah, we will see. But I only have to basically finish his face. So there's not a whole lot missing. Um, and I'm really looking forward to actually do that. Yeah, you can already see his eye in here. So that's just... He's beautiful. Um, he's already two and a half years old now. Um, he has his birthday in April. So it he definitely needs some more progress. Um, because being two years old or older than two years and not even being halfway done is kind of sad, especially because it's not a super big project. But yeah, I guess that's just the way it is. <laughs> so this is my tiger my oldest whip so we'll see about that um, how long how long he will still be around um, my only project that I started before the tiger I actually finished this year in February so it would be nice to then finish him next year maybe because this year as I said my goal is only to finish half of it okay next for my non for coverage pieces is Twisted Band Sampler by Northern Expressions in Dubrock. This is the version with the specialty stitches. You can also get a version with cross stitch only. Um, I wanted to try all those specialty stitches. Um, so yeah, that's that. With this one, I this year want to finish it till band number 12 is done. And band number 12 is that one that cuts through the corner. That is a specialty stitches band, halfway green, halfway blue. So that in here um, and yeah so I want to finish that at the moment I have barely started with band number 10 so I'm kind of close I show a picture of what it looked like beginning of the year here and this is where I'm at right now so basically I finished band number five through to band number nine and as I said, barely started band number 10. I just had a little bit of leftover thread on my needle when I finished um, band number nine and just put that in. So this one is stitched on a 32 count white opalescent linen. I'm stitching one over two, at least the craft stitches. All the other special stitches are stitched with one strand, except for this, those seven stitches that I have just now started. Um, the needle binder is from Caterpillar Cross Stitch. Yeah, it is beautiful. Can't wait to get back to this one. Um, this is actually my, how do I say it? Um, my second travel stitching. I have a first priority travel stitching that I, whenever that one's done, as far as I can go, this one will come out as my travel stitching as well. Um, if it gets caught during August, which I really hope for, 
I can't wait to actually start with those seven stitches and move into band number 10. ten. So yeah, here we go. It's kind of complicated to hold because the fabric is kind of flimsy and in the bottom it starts rolling itself up. But yeah, here we go. Beautiful. Ouch. Okay. That's just a bad sampler. Now, the next one is Sleepy Hollow by Glennon Place. That's what it's going to look like when it's done. Um, and this year I want to finish the first row of pages, which cuts through about here. So kind of at the bottom of those bats. Um, yeah, I'll show you a picture of what it looked like beginning of the year. And this is where I got to. So I already did a lot on this one this year. Um, it's stitched on the 28 Count Cashel Linen um, by Pictures Plus in the colorway Haunted. I'm stitching two over two full crosses with anchor colors. Um, the needle minder is from Deck Designs. Um, yeah, basically I did everything in the middle and that part of the border and started that part of the border. So yeah, already did a lot, still a ton missing. <laughs> but yeah, here we go. Really, really love this piece. Um, if this one gets called, I will continue on this border over here. Hopefully finishing that and maybe finishing the moon. That would be amazing because that looks... Or at least the moon on the first row of pages. That would be amazing. Yeah. Don't know what else to tell you about this one. Have I said middle minor from Denka Designs? Not sure. But here we go. This one is just so beautiful. And I can't wait to get back to it. I just stitched on it every day of the week. And I just... This one, if I would ever go one of the mainest, just stitch on one piece. Um, this would be high contender, but I highly doubt that I will ever be someone who just stitches on one project. That's just not my style. But I just remembered, oh, with the Twisted Band Sampler, I forgot to say, um, in the pattern you have three conversions, basically. One for um, Aurora Swar threads, one for Dinky Dyes, and one for DMC, and I stitch mine with Dinky Dyes. That's what I wanted to say for that one. Okay, next one is the Hello Sunshine Cell by Caterpillar Cross Stitch. This one is my uh, travel stitching at the moment, so that's um, so now you maybe know what I meant with um, having a backup travel stitching. Um, part three has been released on Wednesday, so this is this is part three um, completely done. I am not yet done with part number two, so I will first finish part number number two before I move on to part number three. So this is what it's going to look like with part two finished before I then move on to part number three. Um, so I show you where I'm at with that, that one because I cannot show you what it's looked like beginning of the year because it is a new start. I started it when it was released I think the 28th of May. I think so. So that's where I am at. This one is stitched on 28 count, one over one full process. Needle minder is from Denka Designs. And here it is. So I'm kind of close to finishing part number two, but I will first finish part two before I start with part three. So I kind of hope it comes around a few times during August so I can get caught up with stitching on it at home as well as while having it as my travel stitching um, to be caught up and maybe even take to the bad sample as my travel stitching for a change. That would be nice. But we will see about that, as I said. Um, yeah, and that were all my normal non-full non coverage pieces. I have now two categories left. 
first will be non-core coverage fancy ladies. And the first of those is Raven Queen by Mirabilia. I was supposed to stitch on this one this week and did not get to it, so I really hope it comes around a few times during August um, to get a bit more progress in to her. I show you, no, first of all, my goal for her is to finish the top half, and so that cuts around here. So I want to finish the top of that, and I show you what she looked like beginning of the year. So this is where she's at. So I did quite a bit on her this year already. She stitched on a 32 count linen in grey. I don't know which grey it was from Belfast, but I have no idea how the color is actually called. I'm, uh, I bought that when I did not keep track. So yeah, I do not know. She stitched two over two four crosses. Needleminder is from Danka Designs. And yeah, I already did a lot, but there's still quite a bit missing to actually finish the top half. So I have to get going on her, especially I want, think I want to continue on her dress. So it does not look so one-sided anymore. Yeah, this is my beautiful Raven Queen. Um, next time, as I said, probably going to continue on the dress and then move into the tower over here so I can start stitching from top to bottom, which I normally prefer. Yeah, she's beautiful. She's absolutely gorgeous and I can't wait to get back to her. Um, one thing I forgot to mention with the Hello Sunshine Soul, um, I did not tell you my year and goal for that one because basically my year and goal is to stay up, um, caught up with the cell, so with the stitch along, and then finish it this year. The last part will be released, I think, on the 28th of September, so I then have about three months to actually finish the cell or the last part, which should be possible. So, yeah, that's my goal with that one. Um, yeah, now, next non full coverage fancy lady is Cinderella Rags to Ridges by John Elliott. This actually was a birthday start last year, I think. So, um, last year my goal was just to get it started. So, there's not a whole lot done on um, what I did last year. So, yeah, I'm just going to show you a picture of what she looked like beginning of this year. And this is where she's at right now. She stitched on 28 Camp Cashel Linen um, by Pictures Plus in the colorway Fog. Needleman is from Banker Designs. I'm stitching two over two for crosses. Um, I backstitch and bead as I go. And this year I want to finish Cinderella and Rags. So I'm stitching the combined piece. And basically I want to finish everything in her um, this year. So I'm about halfway through, I would say, with the lower half being a little bit more stitching. Um, but yeah, here we go. She's beautiful. And as I said, um, about halfway through. But we're more than halfway through with the year. So I have to, have to get going on her. She's beautiful. Yeah, can't wait to get back to her and stitch some more on her. So I really hope for a few days. But I basically said it with all my projects. So I just, I need more days in a year and, and more hours in a day and <laughs> to stitch everything I want to and continue. Or basically stitch on all my projects every day. That would be amazing. But that doesn't work. <laughs> okay, my last... Well, not for coverage fancy lady is also my last whip for my arbitrary August and it is Royal Games number two by Mirabilia. That's what it's going to look like when she's done. And this year I want to finish the Queen of Diamonds. So basically just stitch everything above that line um, except for the back stitching on this side because I would have to first stitch all of that sleeve on um, the screen. So I can actually do the back stitching, so it's okay if that back stitching is not brought down as far. 
So I show a pic no, I don't show you a picture of what she looked like um, beginning of the year because she was also a new start this year. Um, my only new start planned for this year and then the Hello Sunshine Cell was released and I couldn't resist because I had stitched a few of the other ones as well. So yeah, as a new start, this is everything I stitched on her so far this year. So I did a lot already and I'm super close to finishing my year goal. She stitched on 32 count white opalescent linens, 2 over 2 antenatal manners from Denka Designs. And basically what's missing is the beads in here and I think two or three colors um, in here. The rest is actually done. As I said, that back stitching won't be done because I first have to finish everything down here um, before I can actually back stitch. So yeah, not a whole lot missing. Probably one day of work if it's a good stitching day because the beads always take quite some time. But yeah, that should be a fairly quick year end goal finish. <laughs> so we will see about that. Um, I'm kind of hoping for it. But yeah, as I said, we will see about that. Um, yeah, that's basically all the whips that I'm going to choose from without knowing which ones are it um, for my arbitrary August and as I said hopefully stitching on quite a few of them um, to get some year and goals out of the way. Um, two projects I have already gotten my year and goal done. One of them super early, one of them I think last month um, but yeah Two of them, I have already done that. The first one is the Chimney Sweep by Golden Kite. For this one, I wanted to do 4,563 stitches. I reached that and then wanted to finish my thread, so I did around 4,700, maybe a bit more. Um, so I'm really happy about that. This one, I'm stitching Extreme Cross Country, so I'm not sure if you can actually see a difference between the picture. I'm going to show you now what I'm going to do look like beginning of the year and the actual project. But here's the picture. And this is the project where it is at right now. This is stitched on a 25 count light blue even weave 2 over 1 10 stitches. Needle minder is from Denka Designs. And basically I start in the top left corner, go um, down the columns and just pick the next color that is not yet stitched and do that over the whole piece um, before I then move on to the next color. And sadly, <laughs> this corner over here is just background, white, snowy, gray sky. So the colors are all very similar. I think I have now finished five different colors, maybe six different colors. I'm not sure anymore. I finished a few colors already and you cannot see any difference at all. Um, and then down here, there's not so much white anymore, so only a few places where a few stitches are, and that's basically it. So I cannot wait to get back to this one and to actually do a lot of work on this one, so I can actually get in a few of those darker colors um, in the buildings. Um, I think I have about three or four more colors um, in here before I then get to some darker colors over there in the building and that's where I'm actually waiting for because that will give the whole piece a little bit more of dimension. But so far I'm done for this year um, which means I first have to finish all my other goals um, before I can even think about coming back to this one this year. Otherwise I have to wait for next year. But yeah. This is the Jimmy Sweep. So, putting this one away. And then moving on to my last project, which is super sized max color cliffhanger. The artwork is by Amy Stewart, charted by Hutton Enough Designs. That's what it's going to look like when it's done. Same as with my other super sized piece. That's going to take some time. <laughs> so I show you a picture of what it looked like at the beginning of the year here. 
And this is where I'm at right now. So with this, with this one as well, my goal was 4,563 stitches. I completed that with completing that page and then starting on to the next page down here. Um, with this project, I'm actually going random pages. So basically, um, sorry, don't know what that was. All the um, pages I can reach either directly or diagonally um, are in a wheel on the Tiny Decisions app. And whenever I finish a page, I'm going into that wheel and check out which page will be next. Um, and then I stitch on this one. So far, I have reached exactly 30,000 30, stitches done on this piece, um, which is only a fraction of what I actually have to do. Um, it is stitched on a 40 count Newcastle linen, um, 1 over 1, 10 stitches. And yeah, as I said, this year, this page is done, this one started, so not a lot actually, um, but nevertheless I'm kind of happy. I have now six pages done, which is quite a lot on other pieces that will be like two thirds done. Um, it's just that this piece <laughs> has a lot of pages, I think 156, so I still need 150 pages, um, but that's fine. This is my cliffhanger. I'll bring it a little bit closer, I think. Um, so you can actually see how how tiny those stitches are. It's it's <laughs> just crazy, but it's a lot of fun actually to stitch on those tiny stitches with uh, cross country across the page. I do like that. Um, yeah, and that's all of my projects. I showed you all my whips. Um, as I said. The last two of them are not in my arbitrary August plans, but I thought it would just be, yeah, it just, it's kind of crazy to just leave those two out of a whip parade. That just does not make a whole lot of sense. Um, so yeah, I showed you all of them. So I still need to find out what I'm going to stitch on today. So I have my bowl right here and I'm going to Pull one of those papers and we'll see what I'm going to stitch on today. So what does it say? <laughs> Hello Santa and so. So that's actually kind of cool um, because the sooner I actually get part two done, the happier I'll be <laughs> um, so that I can then move on to part number three, which is the present one, the one that everyone's stitching on right now. So I'm going to stitch on Hello Sunshine Cell today. I'm really hoping to finish part number two. Not sure about that because it's already kind of light in the evening or in the afternoon. Um, and I still have to upload the other video, edit this one and so on. So we'll see how much I can actually get done. But Hello Sunshine Cell is actually also a really good one for that because it does not take a whole lot of space. Uh, that's why it's my 12 stitching. So. Yeah, I really like that. Looking forward to that. It's a perfect piece for today. Um, yeah, so I put that piece back in my bowl so I can pull it out some other time. Um, and today I'm going to stitch on Hello Sunshine Cell. I will be back on Monday, I think it's the 9th of August, with a video um, and just show you all my pieces. I first, just once more, think I'm going to show you the Hello Sunshine cell, just so you have a picture of what it's looking like right now. As I said, 28 count, 1 over 1, 4 crosses, and that's my starting point for next week. Probably going to put in a picture of what it looks like right now, but nevertheless, I um, thought I would pop in and show you. So, yeah, here we go. And that's my web parade. I hope you enjoyed. Um, yeah, and I see you tomorrow in a week, I hope, um, with the vlog style video. But yeah, that's, that's that. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked uh, my video, please um, subscribe, leave a like. Um, if you want to, of course, leave a comment. I'm always happy to answer those and see those. Um, and I will see you hopefully next time. Bye.